Hello there, it's Bradley from BRAD TV here. I'm in Vancouver for the first time in my life. I've got less than 24 hours. It is about four o'clock here, so my body thinks it's midnight. So if I'm tired and seem a little bit jet lagged or sounding silly, that's why. I've got a map, I'm gonna look up some things. I wanna be in the gym in the morning and it's my normal routine. So breakfast first thing, because I've only got a few hours tomorrow, so I have a full morning out. So I've got to be up, I think, about three in the morning. Yeah, I'll have the gym to myself, hopefully, and then get to breakfast first thing when it's open. So right now I'm going to shower, shorts, t-shirt, shoes on, get out. I'm gonna treat myself. I'll say I'm having no alcohol, no energy drinks, and I'm not having any fast food at home, but I've never been to Vancouver. I love my time in Toronto. I bloody loved Canada. I'm so happy, very grateful to be here. So I might go in 7-Eleven, get one of my slushy drinks, but I'm just gonna go out and seek my fortune in Vancouver. Right, shower, then let's head out. Well, I was about to have a shower, but I didn't realize that when you showered here, you actually start summoning demons. Back to the old school B-Rad, having a bit of an explore, but actually doing it in the evening, right after getting off a flight. Wow, what we got here? I've got my little map, marked off a few things. First order of business, 7-Eleven. I need that Coca-Cola slushy. what a treat. Whoa, glorious weather. Already coming out of the hotel, I was gonna film me emerging into the daylight and someone just started chatting away to me. Absolutely lovely. Someone from Montreal had the proper accent, like some of the words I didn't quite understand. But just lovely, super polite, talking about the UK, talking about the difference between Toronto and Vancouver, speaking about Montreal, already just straight out of the hotel. Proper naughty, got my Coca-Cola big gulp. But also very naughty from the ready to go hot deli bit at the front. A corn dog. If you know, you know. I have to really make up for this back home. Here we go, close by open Granville kebab and poutine. Maybe not the best if you don't know, I don't know. Let's go try it, it's got poutine. So poutine, in case you don't know, it's chips with gravy and cheese curds. Real naughty treat. I think it's proper end of the night drunk food. There are some gourmet places in Toronto that are like restaurants that look different takes on it. But I just went to the street food van and got it. So walking past the kebab place that says they do poutine, I'm gonna get some. Chips, gravy, cheese curds. So I've got spring onions, that's a nice addition. Yeah. And there's hot sauce here on the table. I'm gonna eat this, I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, colour me impressed. Granville kebab and poutine. I wanted a cheesy chip gravy injection and I just got it. That was absolutely perfect. I've been eating healthy, like really healthy, like just meat, fruit, vegetables for a few days now. Corn dog, large big gulp and a big bowl of cheese gravy chips. I can feel it, yeah. I am a stuffed Bradley right now. Whew. I think I'm just gonna, there's a supermarket I want to go to. I'll have a quick look around, do some window shopping while I'm full up, so I don't buy anything. And then tomorrow after the gym, after breakfast, I'll go for a big walk and I'll do my little treat shop to take some presents home and things. But wowza. <laughs> Keep your vagina vibing. That's what we're all about here at b Rad TV. IGA, supermarket. Let's not get run over here. IGA, supermarket. Let's have a look. They've already won me over. Hot cooked chickens. Oh, cheesy crisps. I mean, if I'm doing it wrong and having corn dogs and poutine, I get some Cheetos as well. Small bag, I have a small bag of Cheetos, a diet Dr. Pepper or something. Real treat night, I've done a few good days. Look at the cheese, the cheese. I don't really have much of a sweet tooth, apart from my fake slushy drinks and stuff, but cheese and salt and crisps and bread, that's my jam. I'm like a kid in an actual candy store. Here we go, the totally unnutritious crisps that I loved. What are these? Cheese pleasers, puff souffle, extreme cheddar, nacho cheese. I think they're like own brand Cheetos. Oh, jalapeno crisps are a big thing over here, like trailer park boys. I should get some jalapeno chips. Oh my God. I might get some jalapeno chips 
pepperoni to take home with me. I think they stopped making the Freedom 35 Trailer Park Boys beer that I bought all those years ago. So it turns out the Cheetos, in all their different colours, shapes and sizes, are actually 20 cents cheaper. Oh, maybe it's a smaller bag. I wasn't looking at the amount, but I don't need a big amount. I'll get a little small packet by the tip. I don't need one of these family packs. I'll eat the entire bus bag. I'll get some jalapeno. I better get a basket, actually. I'm actually going to do some shopping now because I know stuff that I want. I've got two baskets. Here we go. There's an upstairs. Oh, no. Oh, the regular Frank's Red Hot they haven't got. I put that on everything. It's my girlfriend's birthday in like a week. I'm going to secretly get her a load of stuff and it's going to have to start with actual Canadian maple syrup. Happy birthday, babe. If you don't like it, I do, so I'll have it. More Canadian treats, pate of stuff caught off the coast of Nova Scotia, I think it said. Lobster pate. I'm getting her some of that. I might get me some of that. <laughs> Joe beef sauce, as in the restaurant I've only seen on the Bourdain episodes, Anthony Bourdain parts unknown. That's mad. I'm so glad to see they've got products in the shop and they're doing well, I love those guys. Liquid smoke, oh my God, I'm running out of liquid smoke. You can't get it in the UK, it's basically calorie free, fake smoke flavour, you can add to anything and it is glorious. I'm getting another one of them, liquid smoke, Google it. I've got some good little treats. Now to look for a small bag of Cheetos, because if I buy that big bag, I'm going to eat it. Okay, I'm in the fresh fruit section, I better get out of here, this is way too healthy for current Bradley. Ooh. Okay, the smallest bag I can find is these ones, it's called Cheesies. Yeah, it's got a Canadian symbol on it, I've never had it, rather than try and cheat as I've had loads of. Let's get some Hawking's Cheesies. I'm not going to get a diet drink in the end, there's caffeine in that, there's probably caffeine in that Coca-Cola thing. I'm going to go back, I'm going to chug a load of water, eat these Cheesies, pass out into a beautiful peaceful sleep, wake up and absolutely destroy myself and the gym that I'm in. Alright, take two. So they're the ones I were going to get. I'll put those back. When I joined the queue, I found a bag this big, little small bag for me. 70 grams rather than 210 grams, which I probably would have eaten. Three bags of them. So I'll have one little bag and no diet soft drink, just this and some water to end my real naughty treat night at the beginning of not this transformation, not that. Just these healthy days. Time to pay, take two. The jet lag is strong now. Let's get back. Crack! Oh, that's good. Oh, I can get wider than that. Oh. Right, I'm jet lagged. Pfft. Quick little run around Vancouver. Fantastic. I'm going to eat this little bag of crisps and drink this pot of water. I'm knackered. This place is lovely. Like the people I've just met, that food I've just eaten. I spoke with a guy in the poutine shop, a random guy from Montreal at the hotel. The lift here, even now, I could hear people speaking. I could hear people speaking German. They didn't know I could speak a little bit of German and they couldn't get the lift to work. They didn't realize they had to put their card on it. So I explained to them that the lift goes up and then when they get out, they just say, Auf Wiedersehen. And they say, Auf Wiedersehen back. And they're like, Ein wenig Deutsch, mein Oma, komm das Berlin. And they freaked out and started talking and Alice Klar. And even that is brilliant. This place really does, I say, bring out the best in people. I don't know. Everyone was just so lovely in Canada. Even the people visiting. It's just gone 6 p.m. Like I said, I'm going to eat these have this pass out I'm gonna set my alarm for 3 in the morning breakfast opens at 6 30 so 3 in the morning I'll have my caffeine tablets they'll take maybe 45 minutes I'll let them kick in I'll time it all right and get to breakfast then we'll go for a big old walk tomorrow to burn these off oh my god I'm so glad I found this small pack right Good night, everybody. Come join me in my hotel room bed. Ooh. What are we doing? No, we're a hardcore gym channel. I'll see you in the morning. I'm a kick your ass.